Okay, are you looking to start investing in San Diego or maybe you're wondering if it's even possible? Well, in this video, from, I'm gonna talk about my personal experience, what I learned, what I actually avoided doing in San Diego for so many years. And honestly, it probably, uh, not probably, I know it hurt me financially in the long run because I didn't take action sooner. So let's get to it. What's up everyone, my name is Cameron Hodge. On this channel, I talk about making the move to San Diego if you're in the military, and also moving and relocating your money to and from San Diego, because I love investing. I've personally done it myself, and I absolutely love to help others do that process, especially here in San Diego. So, I drop videos for you every single week, but I also love helping you in those real estate journeys as a licensed agent and someone who has investing experience. So this number popping up below is how you can get a hold of me. You can call me, text me, email me, it doesn't matter how you get a hold of me. I'm here to help you create that plan and help you execute on that plan. So getting straight into it, not to waste any time. So starting investing in San Diego. So before I give start going to the how-to, I'm gonna give you a little insight. So this is for those of you who probably are looking at San Diego and they're like, look, this is too expensive. There is no way I'm gonna be able to invest in this city. So when I first came here in the military in 2014, I thought the same thing. Well, first off, I didn't even, being in the military, I didn't even realize that I could. I'm like, well, I'm the Marine Corps. I don't get paid BAH unless I get married, right? Wrong. I should have been looking at investing even at that, during that time. I mean, even as an E3, I still had ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 in the bank, right? Like I knew how to save money. I just didn't deploy that money properly. So in reality, like I always thought, like most people, San Diego is really expensive. Like, why would you want to buy real estate here? Like, why would you even want to touch California? And from a landlord perspective, sure, like it is not the best city. Like a lot of the laws are definitely tailored towards tenants. But when you look at the last couple of years, I mean, from when I came out here in 2014, real estate has tripled. Imagine if I had bought even just a freaking condo during that time. Insane <laughs> value difference, right? And that's what I tell a lot of my veterans who are coming to the city, but also really any individual, even those who maybe have invested in San Diego for a while and they're like, I'm not sure if I want to continue to do so or leave the city. And it really depends on your personal situation because it's different for everyone. I will tell you that my first rental property I ever owned was actually in Yuma, Arizona. I didn't even, my, I, that was even before I bought my first house. I was already, me and my wife had taken our savings. We had raised capital from friends and family in order to make the 20% down. And we went to Yuma, Arizona, but 20%, well, I think we were just short. We were about, oh God, like 18% down. So we did have a, a small PMI payment, which sucked, but I did eat that for the first year. And, you know, we did one of this through Airbnb in our first investment. And personally, looking back, should have just gone straight into a house or condo here in San Diego. We should have just gone to the investment property. Now, I will tell you it worked out in the long run. Obviously, that, that property ended up making me tons of money in the long run. I mean, I had a great return. I wouldn't say it was, it was a great return for initial investment. It was like 4% return. Really good for a first property. I'm not trying to do anything spectacular. Like, I, I got lucky in a lot of ways because I didn't know as much as I know now. And it also worked out very well. But what I know now is that San Diego is a city that if you're looking at a five, 10 years like cycle of when you buy a property and sell it, you tend to do very well no matter what happens in the cycle. San Diego, like most expensive markets, gets hit very hard on, on overall value when recessions happen and markets crash. But it's a place that people always want to live. So there's a double-edged sword there, right? And I will tell you that I've learned so much more about the city. Um, obviously, in recent years, Airbnb has really been cracked down on the county. So unless you're in an unincorporated area or certain areas, like you're going to have registry, um, issues to go around that and getting registered and all this stuff. So you have to make sure if you're looking to Airbnb and you're not living in the home full time, you have to make sure that you can even do that where you're buying the property. Obviously, if you're living in the property, you can absolutely rent a room out or maybe you have an ADU in the back you want to rent out and things like that in Airbnb. That's totally fine. We'll, we'll get to that here in a little bit. So how do you start investing in San Diego? The first thing is you got to figure out your freaking plan. Obviously, if you're a seasoned investor and you know what you like to do, like me, like I know that I don't like to manage properties. I like to buy properties and anticipate that I'm going to pay someone to manage them. Now, I will tell you, I've learned a lot more in recent years as well. And management is something that might be coming down the pipeline because like technology has just gone so fast in the future that if you're someone who doesn't want to pay that management fee, there's actually a lot of ways to get around that. And it's really cool. So if you're interested, reach out to me and we can talk about how I'm actually using like virtual assistants to 
potentially create a system to where I can have them manage it. And we have systems in place to where, you know, people can physically check the property. I can have one of my agents go to the property, just do a wellness check. If someone's leaving, a tenant's leaving and going in and all that kind of stuff. So very cool. Now, obviously San Diego, not a cheap city. The biggest thing you're going to run into is if you're trying to buy an investment property, not living there, 20% down is going to be massive. Um, I have seen people get Airbnb loans for 10% down, but obviously your numbers are going to be all out of whack at that point. And of course, San Diego is expensive. So unless you have massive cash or maybe you're on the commercial side looking for property, I don't know if San Diego is going to be the best bet. If you're a first time investor, we'll get to you in a little bit as well about some tips that I recommend after going through that my first sell. But for seasoned investors, because I don't, I know you don't like to waste time. Like I don't like to waste time. If you know what you're looking for and you have an exact buy box, hey, reach out to me within, through the number below. I'm happy to talk with you. Give me your buy box. Let me know what you're trying to buy and purchase. And then we can run through what I'm running into on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and see what we can get down the pipeline for you, especially when it comes to fix and flips, buy and holds. I even have, I'm starting to grow up my commercial connections as well. So if you want to know, reach out. We can have that plan in place. Now, moving forward, I'm going to be talking about those who aren't in real estate investing already because I don't. You know, it's really a complicated process. I will tell you, yes, I jumped straight into investing. I put my money into a property and I made it work. Obviously, in today's day and age, it's just look every single five, 10 years. It just seems to get harder and harder to buy a house. Just a fact. And I think it's not going to be getting better. We are becoming a nation of renters, meaning less and less people own their home. But that means if you can freaking buy the properties, it's a win for you. The issue is getting them and getting one that actually makes financial sense. So really looking back, my recommendation generally for people who want to get into real estate investing is what are you trying to do, especially here in San Diego? Um, yes, fix and flips can be great, but you have to have a good relationship with a hard money lender in order to buy those properties. And even then, you, know, you got to be careful because it's not like you're dealing with a cheaper house in any other state. You are dealing with expensive properties. I mean, you'll drop, you could drop six, seven hundred thousand on a destroyed property. You know that might need 200 grand to become a 1.5 million dollar you know house down in encinitas or something like that it happens i see it all the time so you have to make sure you have this plan in place like what are you trying to do um you know like a lot of people say hey try everything yes and no uh, my opinion going into it is that the biggest thing that real estate investors run into in the beginning is an issue is capital and that's where i even ran into when after i sold my first rental property it's like oh i need more capital to buy more properties but because I had tried, I went to start to start my own business and do all these things. I realized really quick that I'm like I couldn't do both. I couldn't invest and do my business at the same time. The capital was just getting pulled in one direction, and so that's why I tell everyone now is like, look, your biggest thing is you have to make sure you have some form of income coming in, right? Because if you can't save any money to have cash, even if you're using hard money, even if you're using other people's money, you're still gonna need some kind of cash to put down earnest money deposits for making offers on properties just to do minor repairs or things like that. You need to have a plan in place, right? And I'm, trust me, there are th so many creative ways to get into real estate. And people will just say, no money, no money, no money. Well, look, you're not going to get in with no job, okay? Now, that being said, what I tell people when it comes to real estate investing is there are other things that do good in San Diego. Obviously, being a real estate agent, it's getting pressured. There's no joke about it. I think you do not need to be an agent to be an investor. That's a complete farce and not true at all. Heck, I started investing before I even became an agent. But I do think I chose to go this route because I love sales and I love, I know that I, my work ethic is tied to the income that I produce. But even if you're in the military, I have clients that find ways to invest in the military. And like, there's so many ways, like you can have a good paying job and just be investing in real estate. It's okay. Like there are ways to make that happen. But also there's nothing you could wholesale real estate. Obviously San Diego is an expensive city. So let's say it takes you like a hundred, like let's say 50 appointments to get one wholesale deal in like another cheaper state, like the Midwest or Florida, it's probably going to take you twice as much here in San Diego. When it comes to expensive markets, you know, it's really hard to get deals that actually make sense. You might have to go through more properties to get the one that makes sense, which is generally how it's going to be. But that one property could be making you a lot more than all the rest would, than like two other deals would in other states. It's just, you have to find the right one. But you know, a big thing here in San Diego in recent times is, you know, I really think house hacking is making a huge leap. If you don't know what it is, house hacking is a concept of buying a property and renting out part of the property to supplement your rent. So let's say normally you would pay rent on like, you know, 3,500 a month, four grand a month at a single family home, or, you know, maybe the mortgage ends up being like five grand a month now because of rates. 
but now all of a sudden maybe you have an ADU in the back and you're running that out for 2,500, 2,000 to 2,500 bucks a month. Now you're halving it. Now you're paying roughly 2,500 a month because it was a five grand mortgage payment. Now you're paying 2,500 a month. Or maybe you now you run out the ADU and you're running out another room. So now your payment becomes like 1,500 a month because you're running out of room for a thousand bucks. Like you do all this and all of a sudden, yeah, you're still paying 1,500 bucks a month, but it's a hell of a lot better than three fucking grand a month. And now you're building that equity and you have a property you can do things with. That being said, sometimes you can find properties that are going to be slightly underpriced. This market has changed a little bit this fall and got a little more competitive again. But you have opportunities where you can get a single family house and then you can build an ADU in the back. Or like one of my clients, we just got a multifamily deal in a duplex, cost them seven hundred and eighty-seven thousand. It's a duplex, so all in between both of them, you got two guys joined together in the military, bought this property, and you know they now. Both of them are only paying fifteen hundred per month, but the cool thing is they are also they got a full plan build out to build another three bed two bath house behind it in Central San Diego, close to Thirty Second Street. So if you don't know where that is, it's Navy one of the Navy bases here in San Diego, and that's where the, like, the massive opportunity starts. But to get started investing in San Diego looks expensive. So my first thing to tell people is like find a way to build your capital, whether it's a good job. Or maybe you're working a job, multiple jobs. Maybe you're working a job. Maybe you're a real estate agent on the side. Maybe you're trying to wholesale real estate. Whatever you're trying to do, again, you can still reach out to me. We, I can help you down those endeavors. I have a lot of contacts and things I do myself as well down that road. And I'm happy to help you get started. Because a lot of people want to jump straight into buying real estate. The Really, the fact is, especially here in San Diego, it's expensive, not impossible. But you got to get money coming in somehow. So if you're not saving even $100 a month, I, look, you're not going to be saving $10,000 down the road. It's just not going to happen. You have to build your working capital to start getting money in. And also, like when you like wholesale real estate or start looking for deals, even though you might not be getting your own real estate, you are finding a way to, you're working your muscle, you're building your skills to find properties, analyze deals. Like, okay, how do I analyze deals? I have an Excel calculator I can send to you as well, just an example for you to work with. And you have to realize that there are ways to make this happen. You just, you have to really dial in with what you're trying to do in real estate. I can tell you, I jumped into Airbnb. I like it. I don't really love it. Um, I really love lease options. When it comes to owning single family homes, I really love the concept of lease options. And that's a whole other thing I'm not gonna get into right now. I think it would do really well here in San Diego. The issue is obviously, again, the cost of investing. I'd rather put my money in Florida where I'm licensed to be able to get money over there. Like obviously that's another thing. Obviously I'm licensed in two different states because I, well, yeah, San Diego can make sense. It doesn't make sense for everyone. And that's why I love being licensed and having a team in another state to where we can relocate over there. Or if you have a property here, you can sell it buy multiple properties or maybe you get a commercial deal over in Florida. So there's so much opportunity to be had here. But the cool thing about San Diego, right, is it's a city that it still holds values well. Obviously, in this current environment, that's why people are a little hesitant about just buying, dropping 20% of the property. But that's why I think it's massive opportunity if you are willing to house hack a property. Because not only you're cutting your housing costs, you're building equity and multifamily in San Diego is one of the few areas where like not only for that. So going back to that one deal I just mentioned, they not only got the the property for 787,000, which sounds expensive. It was 31,000 undervalued, <laughs> right? So 31 grand undervalued. They got a $12,000 credit from the seller to pay for closing costs. And we got full permit approved plans for San Diego to build that property. It's insane. And it's just absolutely crazy what's able to happen here in San Diego, especially in multifamily. While people are scrounging over the scraps of cheap homes and things like that, multifamily just seems to be a space where a lot of the bigger investors have left for the time being. I think it's massive opportunity for those who know what they're looking for and can get in there because they have a different mindset in play, right? And that's where I'm encouraging a lot of people who are looking to get started in investing. It's like maybe you can, maybe you have a good paying job, but it's not enough to afford that expensive multifamily property. You can join forces with someone else. If you're both veterans or everyone's, or it could be up to make multiple people, like four veterans, VA loan. If you're just regular, if you're not a veteran, that's okay. You can do an FHA loan, join together and then get down that or conventional loan. There are ways to get into the properties. Obviously, veterans are like the best way you can do like super low, down, no down payment, just a funding fee. VA loans, 
but obviously there are other options to join forces and that's the best way to get started investing in real estate in san diego is start house hacking or start looking for those deals start working your muscles start analyzing deals you know figuring out what you're looking for what are you trying to do and if you haven't had this conversation you want to have it just for someone who's been down that road i've made mistakes i've learned so much in the last several years and has the connections put you in touch with people who know what they're doing and kind of give you insight to what makes sense. Or maybe you're looking for property managers, things like that. Those are connections I have worked years to build relationships on. Reach out to me, number popping up below. You can call me, text me, email me. We can have that conversation. If you're looking to actually buy a property, I can make that, we can make that happen, build that plan, or heck, even if you're just looking to get that Excel calculator or things like that, reach out to me. Happy to have that conversation. This is something that I could talk about it 24 seven. My wife's tired of hearing about it. So come on, reach out. Let's have a conversation. Give me a reason for someone else to talk to so she has to stop hearing about it. So hope you got value in this video. Hope it gave you insight into some ideas on how you can get started investing in San Diego. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.